is electrocute back. It is for me. I'm making it come back. I'm making it come back. And they flash it. Oh, exactly. This is why. This is why this this build and this rune set is doing me well because if they flash my ult, but by the time they flash their ult, by the time they flash their ult, yeah, my ult, sorry, I've already QE QEW'd onto them, right? And that's gonna one shot pretty much everybody. It's gonna take up to at least twenty percent health, everybody, apart from these two. So even if they do flash my ult, they're still out of the fight. They're still at a high risk. And by the time my Zonis is finished, my Q's on like a two second cooldown, so I can QE e again. And that's more than enough to finish off a 20% target. More than enough. We can just back off that. This early game's so fucking good for me. I mean, I'm gonna miss a wave here probably, but this should be a kill, honestly. He's nearly oom. Ah, that's so fucking sad, dude. Ooh. Unlucky. I just take double Dorans here. Double Dorans refillable. really unfortunate that the Azir lived there on the one um, the one HP. Alright, well, Kange is entered. Grenade? Fuck yeah, dude. Why double Dorans? Okay, so double Dorans is not because I'm farming with my Q right now. I'm farming from range of my Q. So the HP and the mana regen from this is um, a lot more useful. I'm not going to be... I'm, I'm not going to get boots because I'm not going to be roaming. Because if I roam and leave Azir alone, he's just going to power farm and outscale me. So the double Dorans is going to help me sustain. And hold my lane against him. See, now we're just playing. We're just playing passive right now. Because as soon as we get our Rabidons or our uh, second um, large rod, we have kill pressure. In fact, we have kill pressure now. Actually, if we hit a few Qs and our ignite comes back up, we have kill pressure. But it's just trying to hit the Qs because he has such long range. Okay. So if I try for some cases, mostly because I tend to dive. Nice, there's one Q. One more Q and we have kill pressure on him. And he has to respect that. Otherwise he dies. Okay, we have kill pressure now. All we need now is to know where the cane is, and then we're all, all sorted. Oh, that Q hit. Damn, I just, need this, I just need to tag him with his Q, man. That's all I need. Man, I want to kill, please. I used my ignite there as well. That was my fucking 
Kill on the Azir. Gone now. Kind of fucking sad. Oh, I don't want the Azir to back here. Nice. Mm, I don't know if we can kill him here. Okay, now we definitely can. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was something else. Entirely. That was just fucking troll as fuck. Is it OPGG command? Yeah, just type exclamation mark OPGG and it should come up. No dot in it. We're being really greedy here for this other plate. Whatever. No, the only reason I killed him is because he ulted for some reason. Like, he thought that when I hit that Q that I was going to R in straight away. Or E in, sorry. And um, he, he didn't expect me to wait. I didn't expect him to ult that fast, to be honest. Don't be a dick, bro. This is, this is Grenade Diana, boys. Should I keep up with the consistency? Yes, and uh, we're chilling. We big chilling right now. I didn't ignite him. I'm sack. I'm fucking so sad, dude. Ah, oh, I didn't ignite him. I didn't think I needed to. Ah, uh, that's what I'm saying, man. Hello there. Why in late game you never go in 1v5 of your ult? I know it's on YouTube because I don't want to lose. <laughs> think it's better than the conk build? Honestly, yes. I think it's more rewarding than the conk build. Conk build, you're so easy to shut down because you have to be fighting for so long for it to stack up and do damage. With this, even if your KD is bad, even if your KD is bad, you're going to fucking still do damage. You're still going to change the sway of a team fight just by getting your them off. Oh fuck. Fuck. I could have flashed that knock up there, but whatever. Voidboy talks more about serious issues. I think you should learn more about players with bad mental. Yeah, pretty much. Can I one shot Vladimir with that build? Yes, you can. So the way you one shot Vladimir, you QEW, then he ults. But you need to ignite before he pulls. If he pulls before you ignite, you just back off and wait for it again. But then when he comes out of his pull, you ult and then E onto him if he flashes. And then you just fucking annihilate him. You will destroy Vladimir every single time. You think you have to go let's queue? Um, I haven't tried. I haven't tried the um, Rabidon's rush with Conqueror. But I doubt it's going to be as strong. Very unlikely. Because it's the burst. It's the electric burst that's helping him. Like, it's doing, like, nearly 300 damage plus on it. So, it all adds up. Thank you for that TP.
team difference, honestly. GG.